This laptop is currently at a massive discount and I post the best Amazon offers like this on my Telegram channel deals of the day so follow to be the first to know about them. The link is in the description box below. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian and today we're going to be talking about one of the best gaming laptops for $1599, Dell Alienware M15. I'll tell you about its specs, memory upgrade options, of course I'm gonna let you know how it performs in different games and also we'll discuss its disadvantages as well as some other interesting features. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy, it's gonna be interesting. I like to start my reviews discussing the screen because as for me, it is even more important than hardware. I'm convinced that the level of screen quality reflects how company cares about the device they've been creating and how much effort they put into it. And this one is actually great, it looks beautiful in person and it is a 15.6 inch full HD panel with 144Hz refresh rate and 7 milliseconds response time, also it features 100% sRGB gaming coverage which is greatest for gaming oriented device, but the only thing I'd wish to be slightly better is the maximum brightness level. It is not dim, it's at 300 nits, but we're paying 1600 bucks for this best. I'd push it to have at least 350 or 400 nits. Anyways, this panel works best for gaming, but also it is perfectly suitable for photo and video editing, motion design and other kinds of work with graphics, as well as any casual tasks of course. It is really smooth and vibrant, so yeah, they did really a great job with this one. And now it's time to talk about the hardware. It packs not the latest generation CPU, but it is still insanely powerful and fast, featuring 8 cores and 16 threads to process data. It works at 2.2 GHz base frequency and 5 GHz boosted frequency, and these are crazy numbers for a laptop's processor. And the GPU we got is the most powerful configuration of Nvidia RTX 3060 graphics card, with the maximum total graphics power of 130 watts. This thing is fantastic, without a doubt one of the best graphics card in the medium level laptops available right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I've tested a ton of different games on this laptop personally and created this list of average stable frame rates playing each of them with the graphics settings set to high and I've been testing them on a native screen with the maximum resolution available which is 1920 by 10 pixels. As you can see the results are fantastic and you can comfortably play and live stream any game you want. Also, this thing doesn't overheat even during extremely long gaming sessions, I'm talking 6 hours straight, and it stays relatively quiet as well. And if this list is something you were looking for, I'd really appreciate your support in form of likes and comments below this video, cause I spent almost 30 hours total installing and testing them, so yeah, that'd be amazing if you'd help with that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you in advance. Now finishing with the specs, it comes with 16GB RAM pre-installed, there are two slots for random access memory total inside and both of them are occupied by 8GB tanks. So it works in dual channel mode. If you're looking to upgrade RAM in this machine, I'll leave several links to the suitable upgrade kits in the description box for you. Also there is 512GB of fast solid state drive pre-installed, which is not as much as I'd like to have getting a laptop for 1600 bucks once again, but it is easily upgradable as well. There are 3 PCIe slots for M2 SSDs total, 2 of them support 2280 standard SSDs and one of them is only limited to 2230 standard. The maximum amount of storage you can install into this beast is 6 terabytes, so you don't ever have to worry about insufficient amount of memory to store files. And yeah, the one which is pre-installed has took one of the slots designed for 2280 standard SSD. Now I want to tell you about a fantastic feature they implemented right on this machine called Toby Eye Tracking Technology. It serves as another source of data input besides keyboard and touchpad, it basically tracks the movement of your eyes and helps to achieve better experience using the device. It is useful not only in games but also browsing web or using a laptop for occasional tasks. It is my very first experience using this feature and I have ambiguous feelings about it, but I can assure you, when it comes to gaming. This thing is fantastic. Now ladies and gentlemen, I am probably the biggest fan of elegant and minimalistic designs of cars, apartments and laptops you can find on YouTube. This thing is not minimalistic, but I actually like it. It is actually a big boy, it's pretty heavy and thick and I've ordered one in a white color for the test. This futuristic feel of the machine, RGB backlighting is amazing all around the laptop, solid build quality. 
From the very first touch of the power button, you can say that it was designed very thoughtfully and using premium materials. And another indicator of this is the very good quality of the keyboard, which doesn't bend at all. And I'll tell you even more. It is not a regular keyboard you see on most budget devices, it is a very special keyboard called Alienware M Series Alien FX with fully customizable 4 zone RGB backlighting. It is great for gaming and typing text, I never had a single issue with it. And talking about the touchpad, it is a great one. It is large and accurate, it is glass and supports a lot of intuitive multi touch gestures. I mean, this is really good. But this is a gaming device and a perfect workstation, so you'll use a normal mouse 99% of the time just like I do right now. I use Razer or Orochi V2 wireless mouse with all my devices and I'm enjoying it so far. One of the best mice I've ever used for sure. Another very important aspect we need to discuss is the laptop's port selection. I know that a lot of you ladies and gentlemen would want to connect at least a couple more external monitors, your favorite headphones, mouse, keyboard and microphone to get the most out of this gorgeous machine. And this thing totally allows you to do all that at ease. It has two USB 3.2 Type A ports, a single HDMI 2.1, a mini display port 1.4, one Thunderbolt 3 Type C port, an Alienware graphics amplifier port, a single USB 3.2 Type A port with PowerShare technology, an Ethernet RJ45 port for fast cable internet, a micro SD card slot, 3.5 combined audio jack, and of course a charging port. This is the longest list I've ever named on this channel. And this is crazy. This is by far the most rich port selection I've ever seen on a laptop. Your opportunities building your dream setup are endless. Plus, it features killer Wi-Fi 6 technology, I use the laptop connected wirelessly most of the time actually, and the connection has never been lost or dropped or something like that. The experience was fantastic. The only downside of this machine I can name is pretty poor battery life, averaging at about 4 to 4.5 hours depending on tasks. It is not long lasting by any means, but it is a crazy powerful machine and it is not supposed to keep the battery charged for long. So it is just something you have to accept if you're gonna grab one of these for yourself. And it's actually worth it. It's been great for any tasks I do on a daily basis which includes gaming, typing texts, editing photos and videos, web browsing, video calls and so on. Oh and yeah, it actually features a 720p HD webcam which is located on top of the panel, sorry I missed it guys. It is beyond perfect for building a full size gaming or work setup, it is not as fat and heavy that you can't bring it around in a backpack, it looks gorgeous and I only got positive emotions using it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the video, I really hope the info I shared was useful for you. I want to remind you about my telegram channel where I post the best Amazon offers on a daily basis. Also now we have a chat where you can ask me your questions as well as share experience with each other. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your support and see you in the next video.